here. The hey, soul family. It's Brittany, the Oracle Goddess, back in her pajamas again with the facial mask for the little pimples and whatever. And my earrings I got from Rachelle and Fallon. No women popping. Um, I was shuffling my cards a little while ago and these three popped out. And so the quick and easy energy answer of the day is that somebody is going to come offer something to you, an apology, they're going to offer their love. Are they going to offer some sort of communication? But you being the queen of cups, whether you're masculine or feminine, whether you're a male or a female, the queen of cups energy is somebody that is very magnetic, sexual, um, clairvoyant. They're in control of situations. Um, but they're also secretive. This person, you and I, we could be very overpowering when it comes to love situations or entrepreneurial um, business situations. <laughs> business situations. You might have that, yeah, in control type of overpowering attitude or a vibe about yourself. So, People, when they mess up with you, they often continue to think about you because of that magnetism. Um, and they want to come apologize. So with the Knight of Cups, I feel like somebody is going to come at you today or this week or this month or whenever you see this video. They're going to come with an apology or some form of communication and you're in your Scorpio energy. Um you know how to love and you love hard but once you've gotten hurt or you could be you could be a water sign or earth sign or a fire sign that has been hurt by a water energy scorpio this is the card of scorpio wait i'm all trying to put my notes up here can't find them for those of you non-believers who think that we're making this stuff up each card has a meaning each card holds each card can unlock secrets concerning dates you may have in mind <clears throat> it's a lot of studying to learn these cards and the meanings behind them because they mean so much each card holds so many answers so many keys so many hints clues and messages and meanings However, this card is of Scorpio. So you could have been recently hurt by a Scorpio or going through some sort of painful situation with the Scorpio or you are a Scorpio. Who knows? You can be whoever. You can be all these things and your person can be all these things. The birth chart has many different ways of breaking up the time and the date that we were born. And there's all type of constellations, different things happening in the universe and the stars. So check your birth chart out and you'll know exactly who you are based on what time and where you were born. Um, try cafeastrology.com or just type in birth chart or natal chart on Google and it'll give you some options. So then with the world card, after this person comes back into your life or opens up a line of communication to come tell you that they apologize or they're sorry for what they did with you, I feel like you are in the energy of it's over or you should be in the energy of it's over it's done it's a done deal it's complete the cycle has been shut or a new cycle in your life is opening to where you can go travel meet new people um see new things learn new information gather new evidence um it's like you're on the brink of a new adventure so you don't have to all you can accept someone's apology but you don't have to go backwards and go back into the same situation that you just came out unless that's what you want to do but me being a taurus me being me taurus i always find out that when i free someone when i let someone go the space just becomes bigger and and i have more room to do 
whatever it is I want to do. And so that's what these cards are talking about, guys. Somebody's coming to offer you something and the answer is no. Thank you. I'm done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love y'all.